had to undergo a transformation as many people do when you take on new challenging roles. And he's also here to talk about transformation and the work that we're doing around health and fitness for our kids. Please welcome our Chief Talent Officer, James Trupas. ago. I'm the large body of water standing next to the river. This is me a couple months ago, 35 months later. And you heard my uh, It's our time. Uh, so you, you heard my daughter here earlier. She's also gotten a little older. She got heavier. Uh, so what changed? So, so Milky every year challenges us to a, a, a fitness challenge every year. Be healthier the next, that, this time next year. I went to Mr. Milky and said, I want to take you up on this, but I only want to do it in a way that I know I'll actually follow through, and in a way that ideally would make noble better and uh, impact students. So here was the proposal. One school year, started with the first day of school. We work with three students who are representative of the larger noble student body, uh, including myself, who are overweight. We would, uh, for every pound that that individual student lost and I lost, it would be $100 toward college. So if they lost 20 I lost 20 that would be $4,000 uh, toward college. But if they didn't meet the bunch of monthly benchmarks, they would be kicked out of the program, about five pounds a month. We check in every Monday and Wednesday uh, to weigh in, to work out, to learn about health and fitness. We would track our food religiously on my fitness pal, and we would video document the whole thing so that we could have a tangible product to hand down to PE teachers and students uh, in future years. And last, if you accepted the proposal, we would come and do a final weigh-in on stage in front of everyone at quarter four PD and give a very thin, pun intended, uh, summary of an entire year's journey. So the reason, so obviously I'm here, so he accepted it, by the way. Uh, the reasons that he said so. Absolutely number one is that for us to be the best in the country at health and fitness, we've got to get it right with our students who, like myself, are overweight. Two, professionally, Needed a little bit more buy-in for myself, along with some penance. I am the person who last year as a principal bought 800 McDonald's breakfast sandwiches for the sophomore class. <laughs> Moving on, quickly. Uh, and personally, I needed the accountability. I've struggled with my weight my entire life. I can't tell you the last time I was willing to take my shirt off in public. I've been overweight uh, since I've been an adult. Uh, and I needed something, an organization I love in Noble, uh, something I care deeply about, which is our students graduating from college. Uh, and some very, very public, hi everyone, accountability. <laughs> so here's the journey. Here are three boys you're going to meet here shortly. Joel, Mike, and Anthony. Um, and our stats on the first day of school. Mr. Milky did the first wave. All from three different neighborhoods, a 2-3, two, 2-5, two, 2-7 two, GPA respectively. All seniors all going off to college uh, next year. All with different foods that held them back. All with different stories, but all like me uh, in a place where we weren't in control of our weight. Here were the results over the course of the year. This wasn't our biggest loser moment where you just saw this just linear graph going straight down. There were a lot of successes and a lot of failures and a lot of stories along the way. But the one thing that's not on this graph that we are most proud of is this was our graph before we started doing the challenge. Every single one of us was increasing in our weight um, at a steady pace. And even though we're not maybe where we want to be yet, every one of us stopped gaining weight. There were really three distinct phases. Phase one, phase two, and phase three. Uh, a, a down, an up, and a down. Uh, and here's what really the quick summary of each. Phase one was that New Year's resolution phase. That was us coming out of the gate, doing everything we said we were gonna do, meeting with each other every single week, weighing in, working out, we had a secret weapon, and he's sitting right there in David Oaklander, who was a consistent force. Very, very quickly learned what it meant uh, to how to work out, and just was there for all of us, myself included. And then our secret weapon was replaced by Shiberia, and we felt very physically uh, what it meant to not be in school, to not have consistent, to have days taken off, to have holiday breaks, to have winter breaks, and it was not a good time for any of us. But phase three, actually, two of the boys were kicked out of the program, uh, Mike and Joel. Um, but phase three, they said, but we said we're doing this finish line, we're going after it. Um, and they stay together in PE every single day. Thank you, Malia and Mushin, for switching them to PE every single day. Uh, and they worked out together every single day and have stayed together here towards the final finish line uh, as well and have been a force with each other. 
So weight loss, when did weight loss happen? So every, I gotta start by saying this, weight loss is incredibly difficult, and it's incredibly personal, and we all have our own circles of what it's gonna take to lose weight. But weight loss is also incredibly easy and incredibly impersonal. Burn more calories than you consume day in and day out. Burn more than you consume multiplied by time. It's very simple. Except the level of self-discipline and sacrifice that it takes to do that day in and day out, that's the hard part. So what were the commonalities between all of us when we were actually all losing weight? First and foremost, 100% was uh, food. No questions asked, it was about food. I might argue it's 90% food. Now this is about losing weight, not just about getting fit. It's gonna take a lot more than that. But for us, the first challenge for all of us was just actually losing weight. Um, and so it was when we got portions right. It's when we had a food team, when we knew when we were gonna eat and where we were gonna eat, which really just amounts to when we were in school or when I had a regular work day. Um, and the most important thing was being aware of what we were eating. So if I wanna lose two pounds a week, I've gotta hit 1,560 calories a day. And knowing what that actually looks like and tastes like, that's another challenge in itself. We also had to have an active lifestyle, from my Fitbit on my arm, uh, to parking a little further away, to biking to school, figuring out ways to be a little bit more active. The third thing that was absolutely happening when we were losing weight was teamwork and camaraderie. Uh, when we were together as a team, we were best. When we were on our own, we were worse. And then the last most important thing was when we had regular finish lines. If there were, the finish line was three weeks away, we could literally eat the marshmallow because it was that far away. But when we'd say, we'll work it off. But when we knew every week we were gonna see each other and every week those eyes were gonna look at us and judge us and encourage us, we were at our best. So this was the slide right here where I was going to explain, all right, if I was in charge of Noble, here's exactly what I would do. Because, but, but the boy said to me, I said, okay, I've only got nine minutes. Like, how about we do the weigh-in the night before? Uh, that'll be better. I can just talk longer. Uh, they said, no, absolutely. We don't want to hear you talk one, but two, uh, we, we want to do it. We said we were going to do it. We set out to weigh in front of everyone. Let's do it. So I will give you one message. First of all, it is absolutely doable, but it will be incredibly difficult, and it will take intentional design. It's very simple. So let's get to the way. Now, I gotta make, start by saying this. This isn't our biggest loser moment. We're all jumping out of a piece of paper after living on a ranch for a year. This is us for a very real, very real year of success and failure, but I am incredibly proud of all three boys. So join me in welcoming all three boys. This is the scale we've used from the beginning. I've got a calculator right here. It comes down to, um, it comes down to highest percentage of uh, body weight loss. And you're saying, well, wait a minute, I thought two boys were kicked out. Two boys were kicked out. But Anthony, who's on the end, hi Anthony, said, I want both boys back in. And I'm willing to put the money on the table. I'm gonna say, if they beat me, they can have the money. Um, Anthony's mom is here today. I'm sure she didn't want to hear that, but uh, <laughs> that tells you anything about the team camaraderie and spirit uh, that was built. So we got to move. So Mike, you're up. I'll tell you, 280 pounds. How fun? Get that thing equalized. <laughs> this was unpredictable. We've been practicing backstage without looking at each other. Oh, this happened to the scale once before. Four. Hold on, I'll turn it off and turn it back on. Here. As I'm doing that, guys, just one take away from the year. <laughs> One thing away that I had uh, was definitely, de definitely to be disciplined. Um, like you said, losing weight is not the hardest thing, but if you stay on top of it, you can do anything, you know? Yeah. One of my takeaways was that um, I'm able to control my weight and I have potential to actually lose weight and change my life, basically. Um, one takeaway or a couple takeaways that I have from this year is definitely portioning what I eat and being more active. 
uh, started biking more and not taking the train. Uh, and yeah, thank you. <laughs> so unforeseen, we've been practicing and the scale is not working. So we are gonna, um, it, when it hit the skip stage, we're gonna go try and fix this. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, if we could just give one last huge round of applause. Back over to Eric and see what we can do backstage.